Hey there, what's up? Today, I will be unboxing this motherboard, the A520M Pro from MSI. This will be the motherboard that I will be using in my upcoming video on an inexpensive APU build. So as usual, before going into the contents, let us first take a quick look at the different sides of the box. Looking at the front, or I guess the top of the box, we have the brand name and model of this motherboard. Which also shows that this is a Micro ATX sized motherboard that utilizes AMD's A520 chipset, their latest from their budget series, which supports the Ryzen 3 as well as Zen 2 line of processors. And we can verify that over here in the lower left corner. Though this belongs to AMD's latest line of chipsets, the A520 supports only PCIe Gen 3 speeds and not yet Gen 4. Gen 4 is supported on the X-series chipsets as well as on the B-series but only particularly the latest one which is the B550 chipset. And this of course supports socket AM4. Here on the back or bottom, we have a picture of the motherboard itself and some features here listed on the right side. As well as a picture of the rear I.O. layout over here. On this side, just the brand and model name again. Same case here as well on the opposite side. And some further specs on this side. Let's now proceed with opening the box. We have the motherboard here covered in your usual anti-static plastic bag. Let's put this aside first. Here's the CD containing the drivers. The AMD standard backplate. An MSI Dragon sticker here. This is the SSD cover or heatsink which should actually be installed on the motherboard. It's just that I forgot to put it back during my initial actual unboxing of this. <laughs> the AMD standard mounting mechanisms. The corresponding screws for the said mounts. The SSD mounting screw as well as the M.2 securing screw here in this plastic bag. A flyer I guess from MSI and a quick installation guide. In this bag, we have a couple of SATA cables and of course, your standard aluminum finish rear I.O. cover. Let's now see the motherboard itself. This board has two DIMM slots, which is more common in micro ATX sized motherboards. We have one full-sized PCIe slot here. Your usual 8-pin power port here. And a 24-pin one here. Two SATA ports here and two more here for a total of four SATA ports. As for the rear I.O., we have a VGA port, HDMI port, Display port, port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 USB ports, APS2 port, RJ45 port, and 3 3.5mm audio ports. So, that is it for this unboxing video of the A520M Pro motherboard from MSI. If you like this video and this type of content in general, do click on that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on tech and gaming. I'm not sure if I mentioned it already earlier in the video but I'll be using this motherboard along with the Rack Anner case and the Deepcool Gamax GT V2 air cooler in the upcoming inexpensive build that I will be doing. Thank you guys for watching and as usual, see you all again in my next video.